Hey there, sports fans. I put my Orcas Island uh, shirt that I was wearing yesterday back on so I could give you a final update on the Orcas Island 100 update and our pals running out there. Uh, so let's go to the numbers. All right, um, so this is the spreadsheet I shared earlier. Um, and we're gonna look at why my spreadsheet sucks so bad. Um, so I was estimating, I was being super optimistic and saying, hey, they're running their last 20 some miles uh, overnight going into their second night running with um, really interesting weather out there. And that would probably add a minute to their pace. It added more than a minute to their pace. Um, so we'll talk about through that a little bit first. Let's talk about um, who finished that we know. We know Rick. Rick finished in um, 28 hours, 50 minutes. Good job, Rick. I uh, got six overall. So that's got to be uh, awesome for him. Um, Sean finished as well in 33.47. Sean finished ahead of Mel and Lee by a little bit. So um, that's got to have him feeling pretty good about himself. Uh, Mel and Lee looked like they were running together at the end. Uh, they finished very close together. So I, I would have loved to see that. That looks like it was probably um, a pretty good sprint to the end between Mel and Lee. And um, so Mel, I believe, uh, let me find my Mel tab. There we go. Uh, Mel uh, made it to the podium. She, she beat Lee out for podium at the end there by a few minutes. So congratulations to Mel on that third place overall finish or third place female finish. Um, and we uh, came at you earlier to show you Carmel's narrowly, look at my dogs here. Um, <laughs> Carmel really narrowly uh, made the 91 mile cutoff. This was the last cutoff of the race. That was at 33 hours. And you can see she made it with uh, 25 and a half seconds. Very dramatic. Would have loved to see that. Um, so she made that cutoff and then she finished the overall race at 3646. So let's uh, let's go over to the sheet that I've reverse engineered to figure out, OK, it wasn't one minute that was added to their pace uh, for the last 20 or however many miles they had left to go uh, when I first checked in. Um, how many minutes did uh, their fatigue, uh, nighttime hours and weather add to their pace? So Carmel had uh, seven minutes and 44 seconds added to her pace. So over the first 66 miles, she had averaged under a 20 minute pace. She had uh, been at 1929. For those last miles, she was at 2713. Um, Jess Vandenbush did not finish, but she made it to mile 83. So I adjusted her formula here to show that she was she ran 83.3 miles. So over the last few miles before she was pulled at uh, 83.3, um, given her an 83.3 finish, they they give her um, an overall finish uh, there. Um, so she had 13, nearly 14 minutes added to her pace. So she had run the first uh, 53 miles at a 2041 pace and then gone down to a 34.36 pace. Um, Rick also had significant time added to, uh, to his, even though he had less time than, than others, just being overall faster, just proportionally is probably about the same. Uh, he was six minutes and 35 seconds slower in his overnight hours, still at, um, a 22 47 pace, which is still pretty dang fast, just not as fast as the 16 minute pace he was running for the first 83 miles. Uh, Mel, the great Terwilliger, ran uh, in 1834, added uh, over eight minutes onto her pace uh, for the last 25 miles to be running a, a 26.50. Um, Sean added about seven minutes to his pace, and Lee added uh, eight minutes and 42 seconds to her pace. So her, her pace at the end of the last 25 miles is a 27-minute pace if my spreadsheet's correct. So if you guys want to take a look at these formulas up here, 
and just let me know if I messed up my spreadsheet. But uh, I either messed up my spreadsheet or I totally underestimated how uh, hard it is to run the last uh, last 25 miles of the Orcas Island 100 miler. But uh, it's a really tough, beautiful race. Uh, look forward to seeing pictures and talking to everybody about it, about all those exciting moments, particularly Carmel's racing that cutoff at, at mile 91. Um, I want to hear about uh, Lee and Mel running uh, to the finish line to try and beat each other out for that podium finish. Um, so I'm looking forward to hearing from everybody. Uh, Carmel, Norma misses you. Um, looks, She's proud of you. Uh, look forward to you coming home and can't wait to hear about this. Talk to you later, guys.